Ever take a penny but not leave a penny? Ever ask for a water cup at McDonald's just to fill it with Sprite? How are such actions to be judged? Typically, people judge human action in one of three ways. Actions a person ought to do, actions a person ought not to do, actions a person may either do or not do. I'll leave it to you to decide whether filling a water cup with Sprite is morally permissible. For now, we can simply present ethics as being the practical normative science of the rightness and wrongness of human conduct as known by natural reason. Traditionally and in simpler terms, ethics was understood as the study of the good life, with the subject matter of ethics being human conduct or those actions which a man performs consciously and willfully and is thereby accountable for. Actions which either are or are not conducive for a life of flourishing. By extension, ethics is the study of oughtness, insofar as ethics is not interested just in what people happen to do, but in what people really should do. Actions which we ought to do we call right, and actions which we ought not to do we call wrong. Ethics has two major divisions, basic or general ethics and specific or applied ethics. Basic or general ethics is about discovering and setting forth general principles that determine whether an action is right or wrong. For example, Act in such a way that you always treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never simply as a means, but always at the same time as an end, which comes from our homeboy, Kant. Basic ethics deals with normative ethical theories, some of the more mainstream ones being virtue ethics, utilitarianism, or deontology. Specific or applied ethics asks about what is good or bad, right or wrong in some particular scenario, whether individual or social. For example, evaluating the moral permissibility of war tactics is a matter of applied ethics.